natin. So, segment, packet, and then uh, frame. Okay? So, the concept, mainly the concept under transport okay, layer is the concept under TCP, Transmission Control Protocol, and then UDP, uh, User Datagram Protocol. Okay? TCP is a connection-oriented protocol, and then UDP is a connection-less uh, protocol. Now, uh, for us to better understand the difference between TCP and then the UDP uh, connections under our transport layer, right? uh, TCP is lower but reliable transfers. Typical applications would be email and then web browsing. And then we have uh, Unicas uh, communications, form of communication. So uh, let me talk about the applications under TCP. So email, let's say, for example, uh, under TCP uh, communication, we don't want, okay, we don't want our information that has been sent, okay, from our email that would contain any errors to it. Okay, let's say, for example, when you uh, send uh, an email for um, hello, okay, for example, the recipient uh, only receives hell. Okay? So basically, from the concept is that our message now will be unreliable. Okay? Since from the sender itself, it is different from the receiver. Okay? That's it. And similarly, for the web browsing uh, concept, okay? so when we try to browse our website and then search for a certain keyword, okay, let's say, for example, uh, cat, okay, let's say, for example, cat, and then uh, be the, the response will be a different uh, animal. Okay? So uh, basically, the communication from that is uh, not reliable in a sense. Okay? So basically, that's the concept under TCP. A TCP, Transmission Control Protocol, is that its communication is reliable in which there is actually an acknowledgement from the receiver that that the message has been received. Okay? That's it. Uh, and then another one is the unicast concept of communication wherein uh, we only, from the sender, it, it, it has only one receiver. Okay? That's the concept of unicast. Sender, receiver, sender, receiver. Now, for the concept about um, UDP, okay? UDP is fast but not guaranteed transfers. Okay? Typical applications would be voice over IP, music, uh, streaming. And then another example, let's say, for example, you're live streaming, okay? Live streaming uh, a certain basketball game, right? And then uh, since you're live streaming, Okay, so uh, let's say, for example, there is some static on your streaming. It causes some glitter, um, some glitches. Okay, so that glitches actually is a consequence of a UDP communication, okay? wherein it does not have the uh, acknowledgement that has been received uh, quite well. Okay, so it just transfers and then transfers okay, from sender to receiver without acknowledgement to the receiver at, that it is received uh, in, uh, in a right manner. Okay, so basically, uh, the glitches on live streaming is the, uh, is the consequence of a UDP communication wherein it does not have an acknowledgement in it. Okay. So some of the form of communications under UDP is unique as same as in TCP, sender to receiver. However, the main difference is that this receiver now have acknowledged okay, the proper receipt of that data. This one, although unique as from sender to receiver, okay, it does not have an acknowledgement that it is received uh, quite well. Okay. Similarly, for the multicast, multi-class is from sender to a multiple okay, host or recipient group, only group of recipient. And let's say, for example, this group belongs 
to um, a group which is vegetarian. Okay, let's trace for example. And then another group, okay, wherein it is an omnivore. So basically, when we try to uh, send that data from this point to a certain group that is called a multicast. Okay? And then for broadcast, it doesn't matter the grouping. Okay? Broadcast just sends the data throughout no? to all of its hosts. Okay? That's the concept under broadcast. Okay? Now just to summarize, to summarize between the principles under TCP and the UDP, TCP has an acknowledgement. Okay? We... Uh, we are guaranteed a reliable transfer, whereas for UDP, it's no acknowledgement. However, we are guaranteed with fast transfers, although uh, we the transmission is not uh, that uh, good, or basically, we, it's not that reliable. Okay? Now, let us proceed with the network layer. So the main function of uh, network layer is that it converts segments into packets. Since transport layer, uh, we call the transmission if called as segments, and then with regards to network, it is called the packets. So it adds source and destination IP address to the packet itself, and then it's responsible for routing of packets, handles network conjunction, it also adds sequence numbers uh, to its packets. So basically, in this uh, layer of OSI, we now define the routing protocols, okay? So basically, we try to now here, okay, we now be manipulating about IP addresses of each um, of each port of the switch and then each port on the router and then each of the host and then clients, etc. okay? So ARP, ARP stands for Address Resolution Protocol, where it is a communication protocol used to discover the MAC addresses when the IP addresses of the clients itself. Later on, we will be um, looking at on a deeper sense about the MAC address on the succeeding slides. Okay, so but the point under network is that it it is now the layer when we manipulate the IP addresses. Okay. Now let us proceed to the data link layer. Uh, the functions of a data link layer is that it converts packets into frames. Okay, so from, as you can see, from transport, we call that one as segments. From network, we call that one as okay, packets. And then from data link, we call that one as okay, frames. Okay, so it adds physical address of sender and receives in frames. Responsible also for error detection and calculation under data link layer, error control, and then flow control. Okay, so... MAC is uh, defined or uh, the acronym for MAC is Media Access Control. Okay, So the MAC sublayer controls the device integration. So basically, it is the physical address. We call MAC address as a physical address. And then this IP address is the logical address. Okay, the mass, This MAC address is defined by the supplier itself. Right? LLC, another sublayer for data link, which is deals with addressing and then uh, multiplexing. Okay. Uh, next one, uh, the physical layer. Uh, functions of a physical layer is it is responsible for sending data bits over communication medium or media. Okay, so uh, from binaries, okay, can be transmitted via a physical layer. It is also responsible for defining data rates and voltage levels. Okay. Very straightforward definitions. Uh, it is responsible for a communication mode, okay? Uh, simplex, half duplex, or full duplex. Basically, this one is a transmission modes under simplex, half duplex, and then full duplex. So when we say simplex, the direction of data is uh, only one way. Okay? For example, uh, from the server or the mainframe onto the monitor. So one way of communication. And then another one, uh, half duplex, okay? Half duplex is a two-way communication, okay, directional. So this computer can communicate with this one and then another one, a workstation. This a workstation too can communicate with the other one, okay? But not at the same time, okay? That's the concept under half duplex. So 
both of the communication network uh, devices can communicate to each other, but not at the same time. Now, uh, just another um, example for this half to place communication is a two way radio. So basically, you cannot talk at the same time. Okay, so a two way radio, you can speak. Okay, and then you uh, you tell uh, them your uh, information. Okay, so upon uh, um, telling you the recipient of your, your information, now you will be stopped talking, right? S after you stop talking, that's the only time when your recipient can respond to that um, query or uh, that information that you have given. Uh, just another example from this simplex communication is in, in a manner in which uh, I am recording this uh, lecture video. So basically, the way of communication is just simplex. So I am recording this one, and then you cannot uh, reply, okay, on on a certain feedback that you are trying to uh, you are that you are in question of. Okay, when you have the question a certain part, you cannot uh, feedback to me directly. Okay, that's a way of Simplex communication. Okay. So, however, uh, in the case that uh, it, it certainly we are in simplex communication, you can uh, just uh, PM me, okay, and then just or just email me, and then I will uh, respond correspondingly. Okay. Uh, with this one under the full duplex communication, same with the halfplex communication or half half duplex communication. The only difference is that the you can communicate at the same time. So this workstation can at the same time talk this one and then reply okay, simultaneously. Uh, another example under full duplex is that when we are talking on the phone. Okay? So basically when you're talking to your friend on the phone okay, or your mother, for example, okay, so when you're trying, uh, when you're talking and then you, in, in a manner in which uh, your recipient disagrees with you, so she, he or she can rebut okay? uh, simultaneously or at that moment. So that's the concept under the full duplex uh, way of communication. Okay? Simplex, one way. Half duplex, two-way communication, but nice, but not simultaneously. Full duplex communication. Okay, um, both ways communication, however, uh, it is simultaneous, okay, simultaneous way of communication in both ways, okay. And then under a physical uh, layer, additional, additional one, we are talking about the uh, physical wires, okay, the satellite communication, the microwave, the RS232, the fiber optic, etc. Okay, that's under the um. Uh, physical layer. Now to summarize, okay, in in a manner who in in a sentence, what we have the uh, learned per layer under application layer, it involves the network process to application. So basically, it is the application, okay, the applications that we are using okay, to communicate in the network itself, just as the Google Chrome, the Microsoft. Uh, uh, edge, okay, etc. Okay, and then when we try to to open or it opens our doors to uh, data communication or the internet itself. So basically, any applications that we are using, the email, right, that we are using to send messages, the search bar that we are using, that belongs to the application layer. Now the presentation layer, the responsibility of the presentation layer is that it encrypts our data or it converts our data in a manner that the network can understand it. Okay? And then it, when it now translates our data in a manner that can understand, so on the process of transmission, it will encrypt the data right? so that it cannot be easily be uh, taken advantage of. Another one for the session layer, the main concept is that inter communication. So what does this mean? Okay. 
Uh, the concept about session is that it maintains your communication with a certain server uh, at that certain time, right? For example, you are connected on YouTube. Okay? So while you are surfing the internet, you are in session or in connection with that web page. Okay? Uh, that explains the principle wherein we can have multiple type tabs okay? um, at a certain span of time. Okay? So one tab belongs to YouTube, one tab for, for Google, Okay, one tab for Facebook, one tab for Messenger, one uh, one tab for uh, Netflix, etc. So, so it's each tab okay, maintains certain session. So the session layer okay, is responsible for that. Transport layer now um, pertains to TCP and then UDP communication, transmission control communication, and then UDP. Um, communication. So TCP uh, with acknowledgement, reliable the reliable transfer of messages, and then UDP uh, uh, not reliable, however fast. Okay, and then for the network, it now pertains to the uh, router parts, the determination, logical addressing as stated here on our devices and host. Now, the data link layer is the physical addressing of our uh, network devices. It is uh, specified by our uh, supplier or manufacturer. The physical layer is the transmission media or medium that we are uh, the way of our communication in our uh, network devices. Okay, can it talks about simplex, half duplex. Uh, full duplex, the voltage level, the wire types, etc. Okay. And then uh, comparing that one to TCP IP model, okay, this full application, presentation, and then session is just okay, one part under TCP IP, which is called application layer. By the way, TCP IP model contains only four layers the application layer the transport layer, the internet layer, and then the network access layer. Application layer contains of application, presentation, session. Transport is the same. Transport under TCP IP, it is called internet. Under the OSI model, it is called network. Right? Network access, it is called data link, and then the physical uh, uh, layer under the OSI. Basically, uh, the function of application is the summation of these uh, samples or the examples under application, presentation, session layer under the OSI. Similarly with network access, so all of the functions of data link physical layer is certainly a function of a network layer. <clears throat> all right. So uh, there are numerous protocols here that we do not discuss yet. Okay. So it's up to you to read on. So it is a reading assignment. What is NFS, SQL, um, SMB, etc. Okay, for your uh, comprehension. Okay. So 